It's the government's big scheme to revitalise Britain. A new north-south train line to ferry jobs and growth around the country. But big schemes have big price tags. HS2 could cost £50 billion all in. This latest attack says ministers have failed to prove it's worth the money. As I've looked at the detail of this project, I've moved from being a supporter to thinking this isn't the right place to put £50 billion pounds money. Now, I and my committee are not alone. There are a growing number of voices who are sceptical about this project. I think the government needs to listen seriously, not leave this as a vanity project. The Public Accounts Committee claims the project has been plagued by spiralling costs and dwindling benefits. It says the business case is flawed because it assumes people don't work on trains and that ministers have failed to prove that HS2 will benefit the regions rather than just London. The government's flagship project has taken a pounding recently, but now you can expect the fight back. The Transport Secretary, Patrick McLaughlin, says he doesn't accept the report's court findings and the government will release another report later this week, arguing that HS2 will generate billions of pounds for different cities across England. Richard Westcott, BBC News.